chicken is prime. I'm moving slow. I thought you had to know. I'm moving slow. I thought you had to know. I'm moving slow. Taking this watermelon back, giving an offering, you know, giving back to the earth, man. You know how I do. Got to balance this lifestyle out, man. You know, when you're moving around, taking care of a whole bunch of business, it's good to make sure to get that buzz off. Yeah, it's always good to make sure that you, you know, find some time to the ground or you know get yourself get some patience you know get you some you know this type of shit right here bring you back to you know to to ground you and keep you back in reality you know Keep things back. Hey, what's up? Yeah, just center you and ground you. You know, it's important to do things to center you and ground you. Right now, I had this watermelon in my back seat for a couple of days. So instead of taking it in the house, I'm like, let me bring it out and see how, you know, how many insects or whatever can eat off of this. Get us back to the earth, you feel me? So instead of being selfish and eating this myself, give many thanks and blessings for being here and being able to feed and, you know, live more of a comfortable life. Aside from business and working, these are the things you have to do to center and ground yourself. You know? keep you back in tune with earth so you don't get too lost too sidetracked knowing that everything coexists like everything coexists you know everything you're doing all life forms all life is important you know come from being a gangster to doing this type of shit you feel me real cowboy what life is about, Phil. Let's get to it. Let's make this happen. I'm going to get to some water. I'm going to break this watermelon up. I'm going to send it out with good thoughts and doing good deeds. Not looking for anything in return. But, you know, just thinking of manifesting, contributing back to the earth. The same way the earth gives to us, we have to give back to it. Let's go. We're going to the mountaintop, baby. To the mountaintop with it. Let's go. We're going to the mountaintop with it. You know how many people was eyeing this watermelon coming down from this height? They want that watermelon. That's a sweet one, too, I know. Happy to get us from back to the earth, back to nature. You know what I'm saying? Get some reps in while we doing this. We going to the water. Going to the water. Get some prayers in. Get this back to the earth. It's offering. Let's go. You know what I'm saying? Got to be great with balance, and life is all about balance, man. You know what I mean? Try your best to balance your life out. That's what I'm on. You're welcome to join. We're going live for Great Manifestation Mondays. It's part of the manifestation, good deeds. It's part of your good deeds. You sacrifice time out your day to do shit like this. People look at this and laugh. I look at this and smile. You know what I mean? If you're doing a good deed today, guess what, man? Salute to you and whoever else. See this good water right here. But I'm going to go a little further. 
I'm gonna go a little further. Get to the mountaintop. Let's go, y'all with me. Finally made it to where I, I feel a good flow of water is. So what I'm gonna do right now is cut this watermelon open, spread it, you know. That's what I do to mix up my days, man. I, hey, you gotta do what make you happy and what make you feel good. Do what balance you out. You know what I'm saying? I don't judge no motherfuckers for what they do. Whatever you do, it's what you do. You feel me? This is my life. This is what I do. So check me out. Yeah. Cut this boy open. It's that easy. You gotta know how to use these knives, man. You gotta get used to the wilderness, man. Y'all don't know how to use no knives and shit? You gotta get used to the wilderness, man. You gotta be able to do this shit. You know? I did it. Get that watermelon. A lot of things I'm gonna be able to eat off this watermelon right here, man. I take this watermelon and I offer this watermelon. This is my offering to the earth. May many life forms feed off of this. The same way I eat off the land, I like to get back to the land. Let's go. One half gone. In the water right here for you to cleanse yourself with. Boy, you better get hit to nature, man. You know what I'm saying? Get out them cities. If something go on, you ain't gonna know the first thing to do in nature. This is what we gotta start teaching our children. You know, I hike with my children and everything, but I wanna start teaching them more survival. Give them more survival skill set. I'm gonna tell you one thing, other cultures doing it. You better get hit, man. Just don't turn your kids on the clubs and popping bottles and spending money in stores and designing stores. Teach them this. You know, take them to nature. Show them something in nature. Whatever you show them, whether it's, you know what I mean, just walking, hiking, whatever, let them get used to nature so they won't. If anything happens, you have to get in nature. You gotta be able to do it. Second half. I take this, this is for manifesting greatness. Everything, I mean, everything that we look forward to come to fruition. And may all life, all our loved ones, everyone prevail and get us back to the universe from which it came. Get us back to the land from which it came. Love. So I love. With that, it's a wrap. You know what I'm saying? You gotta be able to do this shit whenever, bro. Like, I just stopped and did this song. This was impulsive right here. This was random. This wasn't nothing that was even planned. The watermelon was in the back of my seat. I just decided to come out and give it back to the land. Give it back to the earth. You know, I could have easily ate that watermelon. That motherfucker looks sweet as hell. But guess what? Wasn't meant for me to do it with that. It was meant for me to give back to the land. Let's get it. You know what I'm saying? If something go down, you got to remember this right here. The clubs ain't going to say you. Popping bottles ain't going to say you. Designer clothes ain't going to say you. You know? Better get familiar with them guns, the land, all type of things like that. Survival. Let's get it. You know what it is. Self and hustle all day long. That's right. Another blessed day out here, you know. Was able to come give an offering. You know, get back to the land. You know, been eating off the land all my life. You've been eating off the land all your life, eating off the fat of the land. At least you can do is get back to the land. You know. 
That's what we forget. We got our hand off so much we forget to to give. You know what I mean? Not just material things, financial things to people. You know? What about back to the earth? Which we all gonna go anyway. You feel me? So it's always good to think of contributing to the earth. Balancing life out. That's what it's all about. Yeah. What did you do today? Did you do some good deeds today? Focus on good energy, good vibes, good deeds. That's what it's about. Good energy, good vibes, good deeds. You know? Yeah, man. That's what I'm all about. That's what I'm promoting. Remember, we going live, too, on uh, Great Manifestation Mondays. And we also going live on uh, Wednesdays, Hustle Code Wednesdays. Tap in, man. We've been getting some good conversations, some great energy, great vibes. Been passing along. Great engagement. Everybody that's tapping in, appreciate y'all. Keep coming back. We're going to build this community brick by brick, like I say. Find you something to do that calms your mind and your spirit and balances your life out. If you're working and it's chaos and you, you're running from here to there to there to there, you're hustling, whatever it is, get the hustle code. One, one rule of the hustle code is finding balance. You have to find that balance because that's what life is all about. Remember, if you're striving for perfection, perfection isn't real, but balance is. So, with that being said, you know, make sure you you take all these things into account. And whatever makes you feel at peace, calm, to where you can alleviate the stress. Just like I played a game of chess with a friend by the pool yesterday, last night. And we chilled in the jacuzzi, oh, the hot tub, whatever. And we played chess. And everything that we were thinking about, it just slowly left because we were so focused on the moves, the next moves. And that's life. Life is the focus of next moves. And that's in the Hustle Code, too. Chapter 9. Uh, no, it's actually Chapter 7, Clarity. To where... You got to think moves ahead. You got to be thinking clear enough to think moves ahead. Because it's chess. Being current ain't good enough. You got to be steps ahead of the game. And that's chess. Like right now, if your bills are just current, that's cool. But you're not even really above water. You know what I'm saying? Having it paid up or paid off is the game plan. And, you know... I'm not going to front like all my shit is paid up or paid off. But at the same time, I know what I'm striving for. I have a goal. You know, and truth be told, all our shit can be paid up or paid off if we prioritize. You know, the reason a lot of my shit ain't paid up or paid off is because I didn't prioritize. You know, I know X amount of dollars that I spent in a matter of fucking months. You know what I'm saying? Not even years. You know, if I if I would tell, if I would say the dollar amount that I spent in months, people would cringe. Like, <clears throat> because I cringe when I think about it. But that comes from uh, no financial literacy. That comes from being ignorant financially, not learning that, not, you know, because when you make fast money, one thing my grandmother and my mother told me, fast money spent fast you know why because you don't value it you value something that you work harder for opposed to things that come easier and when you get in that fast money it comes easier to you so you're like oh yeah a couple hundred here a few hundred here 350 here you look at them type of numbers and you're like shit i'm gonna go blow 50 before you know it, you're blowing another 30 you're blowing another 40 before you know it guess what you done blew through that whole 350000 
Come on, dog. You know, it's life, man. You gotta really start prioritizing and thinking of the next level. How do we get to the next level? You know, how do we get to the next level? That's what we gotta think about. Hey, how y'all doing? Good. All right. Yeah, so it's all about thinking about how you get to the next level. You know? So, you gotta prioritize to get to the next level. That's the one thing about it. If not, guess what? You're, you're doomed to repeat the same shit. Also in the hustle code, rework proves costly to a hustler. If you gotta repeat some shit over and over again because you're bumping your head, you're constantly bumping your head, that's gonna, that's gonna cost you. That's gonna prove very costly to you. When you should just slow down, figure out what you need to do, make sure all the boxes are checked, and say, okay, now let's go. But when you're getting that fast money, you speeding, you moving fast, you doing shit. You know how much money I misplaced, lost? Or this motherfucker owe me a hundred, this motherfucker owe me, that motherfucker owe me. You ain't even checking up on the paper. Because you moving so fast, so much other shit coming on and you can't get stuck at one thing. When you getting fast money, your pace has to be fast. You feel me? So that means your thoughts have to be fast, everything has to move fast. So you don't have enough time to slow down and deal with this, deal with this, deal with this. Before you know it, you on to the next thing. Yeah. So, just all about, that's why balance comes in. So, balance is so important. To balance your life out, it's super important. So, get to it, man. Stay on top of it. Prioritize. Get some financial literacy. And get out into nature, man. It's beautiful out here. Like, get out into nature. There's no reason not to be out in nature. You know what I mean? It's beautiful out here. Get you some nature, man. Instead of being caught up in the inside, in the house, in those four walls. If that's the case, you know what? When I was locked up, all I wanted to do was get out and be free. Be able to go to the water. You know, be able to do things that could calm my spirit and my mind. And, you know, just allow me to practice that. I had a sense of freedom. Not feel confined. And be so caught up in somebody else's trap. You feel me? Like if you if you live in the day-to-day -day the same shit and it's not elevating or enlightening you or motivating you, you caught up in somebody else's trap. Yeah. And you have to prioritize to get out of it. You have to. So, make sure you prioritize. Ground yourself. Find something that calms your soul, your spirit, your mind. And then lay your plan out and get back to your plan. You know? That's what it's all about. Life is here. Balance. Balance your life out. You know, and live. Learn to live for real, man. Not living like uh, you see everybody else living. Don't be scared to to actually live your life. To actually be who you are. I think I care if people like yo. What tape talking about? He in the, he in nature. He doing all this. He going to feed the birds. You know what I'm saying? He giving watermelons back to the land. Please, go ahead. Talk about that. But see if I care. That ain't what I care about. I'm not doing it for th those people. I'm not doing it for the naysayers. I do it to motivate the people who get it. That's the problem. Too many of y'all trying to, like, do it for the naysayers to prove them wrong when you're trying to prove a point that's pointless. Because those people, it's no value to them. What you're doing is no value to them. So if what you're doing is no value to those people. Why are you doing it for them? That's a proven a point that's pointless. You feel me? You need to be doing it for the people who you inspiring and motivating. And it should be inspiring and motivating you. 
at the same time. So, you know, make sure your mind is in the right place, man, because there's so much to do. So many great things to contribute, so much to do. It's just all about you being the best version of yourself, being great, and making the right moves in life. As long as you're trying to inspire and motivate, you can't go wrong. You know? Can't go wrong. I don't listen to the naysayers. I don't care what they got to say. I don't care about their opinions. Nothing. Who cares what they say about me? I know who I am. I know what I enjoy doing. And I plan to continue doing this. You know? Regardless, this is my life. My paycheck. It's not even about getting paid off of this. You know, that's just a plush. But I get paid back from spiritual blessings. I'm going to get some money because I know how to get some. You know? I can eat off the fat of the land. That's why I come back and give back to the land. If you know that much, you know, give thanks and praises to the Most High, to the Creator, all the loved ones. Stay loved. You know, keep spreading love. Keep showing up. Let's get it, man. Let's take help and hustle. Let's rock.